this is Toby with HMC Electronics. We're going to be taking a look at the new SP series soldering pencil from Weller. The SP series of irons all use these uh, threaded tips, uh, screw in, unscrew. Uh, when you first get the iron, it is going to have an anti-seize compound. If you actually look down here, it looks kind of uh, uh, like there's a little bit of dirt in there. That is just so that the tip does not seize into the barrel. Uh, what I would recommend is to make your uh, changing of the tips as easy as possible. Um, what I would recommend is you purchase on a part number on our website called the AC-CP2. We'll have a link to that right on our related products for this item on our website. Just make it very easy uh, when the iron is hot, grab it, throw a pad, twist, unturn, and put in another one without fear that you're burning yourself. And you definitely should not be using a pair of pliers as we often see people doing uh, to change out those tips. Those of you who are familiar with the Weller line from way back, the old Marksman line, which was a very basic red soldering iron, uh, in this latest iteration, Weller has uh, kept the red handle, but made a number of improvements that take the SP series beyond a basic soldering iron. Uh, the triangular grip here uh, makes you feel uh, you have a lot more control while you're actually soldering, a lot more control over the tip. It's a lot more comfortable if you are bearing down for quite some time on an application, point-to-point -point soldering for a prolonged period of time. You're going to find that this grip is far more comfortable. Uh, also, they've added, and this is their big addition, these uh, LED lights, which in fact I will plug in right now so you can take a look at them. So here it is uh, plugged in. You can see these uh, little three LED lights here. Now, they are not supposed to be ridiculously bright. This is not so that you can solder in the dark. Uh, this is so that you get a little extra light just where you need it, just where you're soldering, so that there are shadows caused by the soldering shaft, uh, nothing else. You can actually just, kind of just have that little bit of extra light that makes your soldering application uh, a little bit easier. Uh, as far as the ramp up time, we found that getting this iron to uh, full temperature, about a minute, minute and a half, and uh, uh, which is comparable with a lot of the other irons out there, and it's available in multiple wattages. Right here we have the 25 watt version. Uh, 25 watt version is going to get you to about 700 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, and it is, like I said, going to get you there rather quickly. So this would be perfect for any small uh, sorting applications. Uh, perhaps you're working on uh, um, radio control cars, a couple of leads, wires you might need to tap, tack. Um, not going to be very powerful if you are looking at, say, a lead-free application or something that might have a bit of a heat sink to it. At 700 degrees Fahrenheit, you would have a hard time maintaining it if you're doing a larger gauge wire. So uh, probably a 16 gauge wire, something around that line, um, wouldn't want to go too larger than that. If you have any questions regarding the SP series of soldering irons or any soldering irons, soldering pencils, soldering stations on our website, uh, feel free to reach out to us give us a phone call or drop us an email and we'll be able to answer any questions that you might possibly have. Thanks for watching and happy soldering.